don't study chemical engineering if you hate chemistry. Like you straight up don't like it. The second one is if you don't like mathematics, you don't like calculations, I wouldn't advise you to study chemical engineering. From this, I bet you get the sense of where this video is going. I am a graduate of chemical engineering. I would be glad if people like studying chemical engineering. But in this video, I'm just going to mention some things that are really important that if you don't like them, if you hate them or some skills that if you are not good at them, then you probably shouldn't study chemical engineering. Chemical engineering might not be a good option for you. Mind you, there's a distinction between hating chemistry and mathematics and not being good at them. If you are finding it difficult, you know, to go through some of the, you know, questions and equations and so on, that shouldn't be the reason why you should not study a particular field. You shouldn't go into engineering. No, there's a huge distinction. If you hate it, you don't, you don't even care whether you get better or not, then that's when chemical engineering might not be for you. But if you are finding it challenging, you know, to, you know, solve mathematics and so on, you can still go into engineering. In fact, I would invite you to go into it so that you face the challenges head on, try to improve, especially if you like it. Because there are some people that like something, but they are not very good at it. I would argue that them liking it would help them like go through it successfully at the end. Now, before the next one, I would really appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel. A lot of you that are watching are not subscribed. Please do. It really helps build the channel. Now let's get back to the video. On to the next one, which is problem solving. Do you find satisfaction in finding solutions to, you know, complex problems, complex challenges? If yes, then that's a good thing. But if no, like if you don't like situations where you would have to problem solve, you'd have to think outside the box. Because let's face this, in university and outside university, chemical engineering involves a lot of problem solving. In a lot of cases, yeah, in the lab, you know, doing experiments and so on. In the university, there are even few constraints. Like you have your lecturer there, he's guiding you. Okay, this is what you should do like every step of the way. Unless you are doing research where you are working more individually. But in a lot of cases, your lecturer can come in handy like to help in a lot of these challenges. And the problems you are facing in university, they are like for you to learn a thing or two, to learn some concept, to pick up some skills and so on. But in the workplace, it's actually more challenging. You might not have that support that you get from university, from your lecturers. So if you are not good in problem solving, in trying to, you know, bring up new solutions. In fact, the job of most engineers is the problem solve. So if you are not good at that and you don't even like being in an environment that involves that, then chemical engineering might not be a good option for you. On to the next one. Don't study chemical engineering if you cannot handle pressure, if you cannot work in stressful situations. Because I'm telling you, in the university and at work, chemical engineering involves a lot of pressure. Like just imagine you're in university, on Monday they teach you some difficult topic, on Tuesday the same thing in another different course, on Wednesday. So at the end of the week, you have new topics that you don't even know about. You have to like catch up, read on them, and then you have to go to the lab, you know, for your practicals and so on. And like you might end up with an additional coursework that you'd have to submit, an essay to write. Oh my God. And this is how the curriculum keeps going. So if you cannot thrive in such environment, I'm telling you, chemical engineering might not be a good option for you. And this is just the university. When you go to work, it might be a different ball game. Sometimes you might think, okay, work is going to be stressful. It might be more stressful than you imagine. It might be less stressful. But in most cases, chemical engineering, you know, uh, work environments, there is a lot of pressure there. I have a friend that is working in an oil company and he's always like working night shifts. And I'm like, damn. So you can imagine like if you cannot survive in an environment where you might work long hours, you might work night shifts, then chemical engineering might not be for you. Now, the last one is you should reconsider studying chemical engineering if you are not a team player, if you don't like working with, you know, teams in groups and so on. 
I'm sure there is this misconception that engineering students are like geeks, you know, they read a lot, they're always in their environment working on this region or one thing or the other. So in that case, they are not good at socializing with people. Like I said, this is a misconception. It is not true. Chemical engineers and other engineers, in fact, all the engineers, they work with other engineers. They work together to realize their projects, you know, from the planning to the des designing stage to, you know, production. In fact, throughout the stages at work, they work cross-functionally. So if you are not a team player, if you are not good at working in, you know, groups, you know, that can be developed. But if that is something that you actually don't want to do, you don't want to be involved in, then chemical engineering might not be a good fit for you. Now, if you're still thinking of studying engineering, check out this video where we discussed if studying engineering is worth it.